Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. Skadoosh. <laughs> Welcome to Guilty Pleasures. Yes. Welcome to the Kung Fu Panda episode. Yes. Today we're talking about Poe, everyone's favorite fighting panda bear. Yes. Uh, and joining us in the studio, we have our very good friend, Mr. David, David Dang. Woo-hoo! Yeah, yeah. So I almost called you David Dang, and then I realized but that, it sounds good. that there are yeah. people that wouldn't yeah. know that's not your name. <laughs> so uh, here good. is the backstory: is that I was hanging out with David one day, and he just started monologuing <laughs> about Kung Fu Panda, about how excited he was for four. And like it was one of those conversations where I was there. Yeah. But I didn't necessarily have to be. Yeah. <laughs> yes. David would just go, but like, you love this franchise. You love the lore. You know more about this lore than I knew so there was good. lore to know. So good. Like, I think when you introed us in, and I was like, you should just say we're the number one fan clubs. Like, we're like the fan club members. Yeah. Like, the president. This, yeah. Yeah. This VP, Are you the secretary? Yes, I am. Before you came here, I was just telling David that I have seen the first two like six or seven times. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen it. I saw the first one in theaters. I didn't see the second one in theaters, but after seeing the second one, I was like, okay, well, I have to go back to the first one, watch that again, see the second one again for context. It, yeah, yeah, I've seen it a lot of times. And all I, I said was kindred spirit. That's yeah, it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's didn't didn't it. even need to watch this one because I saw the movie a month ago. Oh I didn't my need God, to see it. Why? Yeah. Because yeah. I can close my eyes and play it frame to <laughs> frame. frame. Oh my frame. God, this yeah. is gonna be easy, guys. It's just too good. I'm already crying. Yeah, Rainy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Rainy outside. And I'm like, and she was like, so excited to see you. I don't know why I'm crying already. <laughs> <laughs> are you just, are you thinking about the the dad duck? I'm just thinking about everyone. Yeah. The dad duck is special. The dad duck. But he, he's so sweet. He's so sweet. He's so supportive. All he wants is his little boy to take over for his fucking noodle, noodle shop. Noodle shop. And then he's like, oh, you want to do kung fu? Well, I mean, that really hurts my feelings. Yes. We're noodle people, but... <laughs> Broth Dude, runs through yeah, our broth veins. Runs through our veins. Through our veins. To Just noodle or not noodle. Oh my, oh god. my god. You had the noodle dream? Oh, oh. fuck. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's please, the synopsis. Sir. I, I don't want to. David, I want to know like what I get it. Like like if you're the president and the secretary, like maybe I'm the treasurer. I don't know that I. <laughs> no. I, I don't. Maybe I, I no, lost the election. Yeah, okay. I want to be in the. You want to be in the fan club because yeah. this movie rips. Yeah, you're in the fan club because oh, when uh, we were just chatting, and I said the reason why you and I are connected through webs. Are, <laughs> is that when I was cutting your hair, we were talking about it. Remember, I just started busting out like about Kung Fu Panda being one of my top like five movies. You're like, wait, what? It's a crazy sentence. <laughs> yeah, it is a crazy sentence, but and it I makes agree. sense. <laughs> it but makes anybody sense. who's seen the movie, it will make sense yeah. to you. Have and you seen all of them? Uh, again, six, eight. 10 times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And here's the here's the thing when I was doing research about this again cuz I just watched it a month ago mm-hmm. and I for, and I've watched so many movies since in 30 days that I had to think uh, when Hector and I were watching it Hector was like, "Well, didn't you just watch this?" And I go, "I know I did. I bought it. Yeah. I bought this like 8 years ago or something on iTunes it was like first movie that I bought. Mm-hmm. It was the core movie of besides Memoirs of a Geisha. That's another one. But like that I bought along that I spent money on. Yeah. You know, like yeah, it it was it was one of those movies that was just on my computer. Yeah, like you, I I feel bad about this, <laughs> of course, but it was one of the the movies that I pirated. Probably, to jail. I'm pretty sure. But I just had to, I had to have it, uh, it within reach. <laughs> I yes. must have. You. I must. Have yes. it. I I can guess, but what are the things about the kung fu the kung fu kung panda? Fu. Uh, franchise that are yeah. so near and dear to your heart. What if I were just like David? Why do you even like this thing? I think okay. So I love anime, mm-hmm. and especially when it's like crossover to English. So like the the one like some of the things I grew up with was number one like Sailor Moon. Yeah, you know we were all watching Sailor Moon, but then there's nothing else in between that. So you would have to find it yourself as a kid in my generation, right? So when Kung Fu Panda being so commercial and being so worldly and being accepted and loved by a lot of people, especially Academy Awarded nominee, you're like, oh, this is it. And so that first and foremost has been so relatable. But to the story, like all the animals, all the zodiacs, all the things like that is just so connecting because I love Lunar New Year. I'm obviously Asian, I'm Vietnamese. And this 
relates so much. It, it is like I was struck watching it last night. It's it's really beautiful. And like <laughs> it's yeah, sorry, it is beautiful. Look, it is beautiful. Um, it's beautiful almost to the down to the casting. I would say where everybody in the um I forget what they're they're the Furious they're Five. Furious five. Yes, everybody the Furious in five. the Furious Five. Very serious actors. Angelina, Angelina Jolie, Jolie, Jolie well, David Cross, no. Uh, yeah. Seth Lucy Rogen, Lou, Lucy Liu. Lucy Liu. Um, and um, their Jackie master. Chan. Jackie, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. As guys. Monkey. I'll, I'll get to him. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Chan. And and then their, their, walk, their, their master being... Um, Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman. And then... Um, uh, Ian McShane. Oh, Ian McShane. Ian McShane. Ian McShane. Ian McShane. So good. And then... Our out of the box schlubby protagonist is Jack Black, who is just the everyman. In a just world, mm -hmm. instead of having Chris Pratt as every voice actor ever, it would be Jack Black. It would Black. be Jack Black. How? It would be Jack Black. <laughs> Everything. Absolutely. How are we not noticing that though? Like that's what I'm saying. He's, like, perfect. he's so he's perfect. good. He's so good. He is perfect. He is perfect. He is a hug. His voice is a hug. Oh my gosh. His personality is a hug. Yes. Everything about I I've seen him yeah. walking around uh Los Feliz. And he is exactly what you think he would yeah. be. He right. looks like a, a kid on his way to day camp, uh, but in, a, in an adult's body. I love He's it. wearing really long cargo shorts, a wildly loud psychedelic shirt, a big uh, safari hat, and sunglasses and headphones. And just scoot it back, 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 down That's the it. road, um, uh, living his fucking life, not trying to hide at all, because guess what? I'm fucking Jack Black, and I'm, I'm Black. vibing. It's so crazy, because like, with that amount of money that comes with, you know, if, if money equals freedom, I feel like a lot of people d aren't, a lot of rich people aren't free. You know, they he don't. Is free. He is free. I think he should be our our collective uh, idol. Yeah. You know, he's who we should all aspire to be. Yeah, absolutely. It's crazy that, he, I, I don't know, there, there are certain people that I feel like are underrated in the mm. same way that um, our Riz King is. Um, Mr. Giamatti. Mr. Giamatti. I feel like Jack Black is an underrated actor. He needs to be more yeah. and more and more in front of the camera. Yeah. Um, I think he can do it all. I think he can do it all. He, his I, think he, I think he will be. His vocal what? His vocal prowess. Like, he, he, he can sing. But yeah. The things that, the emotion. One, like, quietly one of the most talented people mm -hmm. that, you've, you've, that we've had on, uh, on any form of entertainment. And then also, like... The way that he carried a movie with Mario in it, like that's that's insane. Can that it? is insane <laughs> for you to have the one of the most recognizable characters. Exactly, and then all you're thinking about is like, yeah, but Jack Black is Bowser. Yeah, the whole time it's like I don't care about anybody else. It's like, oh fuck, it's Mario and Luigi and Jack Black. Honestly, when I saw his name on that poster, I yeah. was like, I'm watching the movie. Yeah, you gotta watch that. the movie. He can act. Yeah. He has the vocal acting prowess. He can emote he's with his talented. body yes. and with his voice. Yeah. He can sing. He's got yeah. a great voice. He can write the yeah. music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is mother. a multi hyphenate. He, he, multi he is mother. He is mother. Yeah. He is Jack mother. Black is mother. Jack Black is mother. <laughs> I, That's I think crazy. no one mother, no one listening guys. would debate that. He's no. mother. Yeah. Look, we always talk about how great, how wonderful Childish Gambino is, right? It's like, oh. wow, Donald Glover, he can oh, write, yeah, yeah, he can yeah. rap. Yeah, Jack, Jack Black, Black is every bit as talented. Yeah, every bit as talented. <laughs> every <Yeah>. bit. <laughs> every bit as talented. <laughs> oh, Lady Gaga this, Lady Gaga that. She was in The Star is Born. She's a pop star. Jack, <laughs> Jack Black. Black. Jack Black oh, did it. Where's God. Jack Black's Jack halftime Black show? Yeah, I would I like want to Jack you know Black's Super Bowl bring halftime back, show. Bring back you know Tenacious D for the Super Bowl. That would be it. It could be the Star Spangled Banner. It could be the halftime show. Holy shit. Shit, Jack Black doing the, the fucking the, the, the nat. The I think we need to put that in, guys. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, we yeah. need to nominate. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack I mean, Black doing the 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 national anthem. I would would die. Be, that would, would be, be incredible. That would be that'd be great. That'd be fantastic. He's one of the few comedians who sings as a bit, but and then it, it's it actually good. great. But, but actually, it's sounds good. good. Yeah. Has yeah, yeah, the yeah. chops to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Is it was honestly strange? my only critique of Kung Fu Panda. Is that he wasn't singing? He only he didn't even sing. Didn't sing one time? I mean, we don't know what the fourth is going to bring us, guys. You're right. <laughs> I don't know. You're this totally right. This franchise has surprised us yeah. left and right with every yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so one of my notes that I wrote down, not to, ke to keep us on track, I guess. How dare you? I know, right? <laughs> Besides getting off of uh, Jack Black for a second on yeah. both ways because he's so hot. I think he's definitely mother. But uh, <laughs> but, but he, this, 
why is this? Why is the Marvel Cinematic Universe phase not following this movie? Like, no. this is what it Tell, should be. Expand yeah. on that. Like, you think that I, the the Kung Fu Panda Cinematic Universe is as you, impressive as the MCU? Let me ask you this because we're not going to get too far ahead of ourselves. But have you seen two and three yet? I haven't, and I would you like have. to. Yeah. But tell me about the lore. The it. It talks about each of them infusing, like they all have a backstory, right? Mm -hmm. We haven't obviously explored too much of the um, Furious Five or the, yeah, the the, the Five yet. Mm -hmm. But Jack Black's like, I'm a just a, I'm just a regular guy who became the dragon, you know, the dragon hero, and here I am, and then now I've absorbed these powers and all of this stuff, right? And then now I'm like reaching out to everybody to reach out to their stories. It's all connected. It's literally Madame Web. It's Madame Web. But it's like all connected, <laughs> and all of them connect back from the past and the future, which is kind of nuts. So tell me this, because I was driving by, I, I saw a billboard for Kung Fu Panda 4 today, mm -hmm. and if I, I did a double take I, uh, while I was driving. Ian McShane's character, who is Shai... Tai Lung. Tai Lung, who is the main villain of this movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He back? He's back, because yeah. um, I, they're saying that the main villain of the fourth one is a chameleon and she can mimic all of the different <gasps> abilities of the past villains. And it's a she. So and it's like, a she. That's yeah, it's intense. Sick. It's intense. So the peacock from the second one is also going to be back as well. That was the one that was like the industrialist and he's trying to like kill Kung mm -hmm. Fu. Making um, fireworks and stuff. Making fireworks and, 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 and making cannons. Which... I know we're we're not talking about the Do second it. one. Yeah. If the second one has probably one of the coolest scenes of all time. <laughs> where I mean, yeah, the skadoosh scene was very good in the first one. Of course. That was the, it. um the 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 pinky hold. The, the wooshy the finger wooshy hold, finger which holds. I've got stories to tell. Oh my god. That is like I I remember seeing that moment in the theaters and like I'm, I'm in there with kids. But yeah, I'm the chills. Yeah, chills. 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 But in the second one. Um, there's a scene where um, basically he has like a premonition about like how he's going to, I, I believe, perish or something like that. Or like, no, no, no. He's very afraid of the sign on the back of the peacock mm -hmm. because he, it means something to him. You, you find out later that it's because he was um, separated from his parents mm -hmm. at birth. And this is the person that took his parents away from him. Whoa. Anyway. Um, this Marvel peacock, Cinematic Universe. Very, it's like, very deep. Very lore. Marvel Cinematic Very, very deep. Dude, lore. why is there <laughs> so much lore? It's fucking sick. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, fast forward to the end. Peacock creates uh, cannons and all that stuff. They're shooting. They, they, they're they very afraid of the pandas. He'd wiped out all the pandas, kind of like Avatar, the last airbender, because he's like, this is the only thing that can defeat me or whatever. They find the last panda. Uh, it's Poe. Uh, they he starts firing these cannons at Poe, and Poe is just like he like is one with himself now. Inner peace, inner found peace, it. all of that stuff. The cannon is the cannon ball is coming right at him, and he does like a Shaolin kind of like oh almost Tai Chi, is tai what, chi I, I, I thing, okay, and like cool. lets the lets the ball go back at the oh, cannon. That's and so tight, and, he, and, he, and they keep on firing at him, and he keeps on like swinging it around, yeah. and then he like turns into the yin and yang symbol as he's doing, and it's like what the yeah, it's it's so creative, and it's so quietly brilliant. And nobody talks about and it. And how has like none of it been nominated further than like that one yeah, year? Than the first I was one. like, yeah. what's happening? Yeah. But then again, we know. Yeah. There it's is so there like this movie has no right to go so hard. It's, <laughs> is it is is that DreamWorks though? I that DreamWorks. I think so, so. Well, DreamWorks it was interesting. They were in a creative rut when this movie came yeah. out, and it was like, oh fuck, we back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but the kung fu sequences. Are fucking Sensation, sensational. So you know why I was reading about this? The reason why is they did their deep homework on it. Mm. They didn't. It they didn't slack. They didn't like just sit back and go, "We're gonna create a character that we know people are gonna love," and like we'll just borrow culture. Yeah. They really actually absorbed the culture. Even Hans Zimmer like uh, went to China, learned yeah. about music. Wow. Well, not music, but learned about the culture and whatnot. It was to the point where the Chinese themselves were like how are we not making a Chinese movie like uh, this? Ha, so damn. that's like the highest compliment, right? Wow. When your own culture goes, wait the hell up. Like how are these Americans making like a better yeah. movie than we are? There like, is, I, I'm thinking of the prison escape sequence yeah. 
where Tai oh. Lung, uh, he is phenomenal in the this this. The, <laughs> Sorry, please continue. Yeah, I just, never uh, apologize yeah, for yeah, yeah. Kung, I panda joy. Gonna, I don't even know what you're gonna do too. Like, yeah, yeah. I, it's like, <laughs> yeah, Tai Tai Lung is probably if if. Puss in Boots 2 didn't come out and death was Ooh, in it. Oh, yeah. This would have been the best DreamWorks villain. Because Truth. the way that, yeah, in the, the entire scene where he's escaping and he's fighting off of, he's fighting off all these rhinoceros. Rhinos, yeah. Rhinos. Um, and he does it just from getting the feather of a carrier duck or pigeon <laughs> or whatever he is. Messenger duck. A messenger duck. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. The question is, time for what? If time was unlimited, how would you use it? Oh my God, this is this is making me think. I want to say that I would read or exercise, but honestly, realistically, I'd probably just uh, watch YouTube videos or something. I need to take like a nice nap. Oh, no, hot tub. Uh, uh, give Bowie a nice long walk. The best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule is to know what is important to you and make it a priority. Therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of it. I love having a therapy session once a week just to get in touch with myself. Uh, and if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It is so easy. I frankly, I look, I tried other forms of therapy in the past and I just couldn't stick to it because I wouldn't drive myself or it was too hard to schedule. With BetterHelp, it is designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Guilty Pleasures today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Guilty Pleasures. And him, that entire sequence of them just like can't do any, like like they're just at, at, at their wits end of this one person who was just master Kung Fu and he's like bouncing around and all this stuff. And then the Furious Five, they all um, uh, intercept and yeah. whatnot. Oh my God. And he does like the, the coolest shit on the fucking drawbridge. It, it is an impenetrable, an impenetrable prison that he's in. It yeah. is like yeah, uh, a bridge that yeah. goes across down to an elevator mm, that has yeah. 40, you know, different stone bridges with... 700 guards and a self-destruct button and he's at the very bottom chained up make it to the top every yeah. single way and you watch this dude like just master his way through mm -hmm. all these falling yeah. rocks there's one shot in particular that takes my breath away whenever i watch it where the rhinos on top rain down a thousand red arrows yeah, i know exactly yeah. and where that's the happening. red Fills the screen, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it's like almost impressionistic. It, it, it yeah. plays with different art styles mm -hmm. just a little bit. Not not going as far as your Spider Verses or Puss in Boots too, but like it it pushes the animation uh, uh, in a way that I you know granted, mm -hmm. of course we're talking about anthropomorphic anthropomorphic animals, but yeah. this is another example of animation doing things that live action just can't. Yeah. And yeah. that's where I think that the 2008 time we were looking for. Which is mm. why it was Kiss Met. I think people were like, we're Snorfest. You know, we just got out of Britney 2007. <laughs> I have to, as gay man, have to like acknowledge that, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then and, like everything was kind of dudsy. The world was kind of crazy. And then Kung Fu Panda comes out yeah, to yeah. give like the feel good movie of <laughs> to, all time. To breathe new You're life right. into America. <laughs> Uh, but that scene itself, it reminded me kind of reminiscent of someone borrowing it, which was like uh, James Wan in Aquaman. Mm -hmm. Remember when he's at the depths of like the ocean and it all, all of a sudden lights up and it's like all the red mm -hmm. around him. It's kind of very similar. I don't remember that, but That's I'm okay. glad that you yeah, yeah. <laughs> reference on Aquaman. I'm glad that we can, we can uh, no, but build like, a case for somebody stealing from Kung Fu Panda. Correct, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. There are so many elements in that part of the scene where where also when he's like all the um what's it called all of the stones are falling yes and, and that, he's jumping he's just from different as one. Yeah. fast as he can up and you those watch stones. it you, you see like through his eyes yeah. his brain goes like boop, 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 like yeah. almost like the terminator he's yeah. he tracks trained a it. chart he's trained a, himself uh, uh, it's so sick. Charts of charts of path. Charts of path. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, did I say charts? A chats a chart. <laughs> chats a chart. Chats <laughs> yeah. wait, wait, even so, like right after that entire sequence, he, um, the Furious Five, intercepts him, and he's on 
he just does the dopest shit. He's on the the drawbridge, mm-hmm. and this is like the first. This is the first time you're hearing him speak. This is the first time you're hearing. Um, God, I'm, Ian, McShane Ian McShane from Deadwood, and honestly, so it's yeah. part of what makes that character so unbelievably effective. It's this deep gravelly yeah. voice yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, and it's he's he's english you know this is this is in this, china he's this english no leopard is english yeah yeah and, and i and, will say this is a french you know a lot of animated movies get celebrities yeah. just for the sake of getting celebrities this yeah. is a rare animated movie where these are all big celebrities big celebrities but big celebrities who Bring yeah, they, have they're the A-game. chops. They don't. They and really they're not do. Fu- fucking Ian around McShane at all. is great. Jack Black is exceptional. Ex- yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, I mean, even the fi- Seth Rogen as the mantis as the mantis is so good. When he was, I mean, this was he was not big yet, so that was like they're yeah. like this and guy's got a voice. Every every one of the franchise gets a bigger and bigger name person, so it mm-hmm. has to compliment somewhere and say like this is probably pretty good, yeah. you know. And then also like the entire cast always comes back. Like they do. They, I feel like they, they like the, do. the franchise. Well, I was thinking about this on the way because again, so crazy. Seth Rogen was not Seth Rogen no, no, at no, this no, time. No. He was. What, this was maybe like Observe and Report era. I yeah. don't even know. Oh Pineapple Express. Had come. Like he was not. No. Look, Knocked Up was obviously his yeah. breakthrough, and he was household name ish, but not what he is today. No. And the fact that it's now. 10 years later, mm-hmm. exactly. more, and he is still showing up. Like, yep. And I mean, even, I, like, Angelina he hasn't Jolie, been Even Angelina Jolie, I said. Right, yeah. that none of these people have priced out of yeah. this franchise is baffling yeah. to me. Well, yeah, I think I when the first like one they... came out, they had, they had signed them on for like seven. <laughs> oh, yeah. really? Okay. But like even seven, there's a way you can get out of it. But like, yeah. they're like, no, we kind of love it. And they all are like, well, not all of them, but most of them are like, dads and moms now so they're probably like this is a hitting yeah this hitting, is killing sure. this is something great right for my now. kids i it always it always reminds me of um madagascar where yes. uh, they did a um an interview for sure. uh, with uh chris rock and he and they're like yeah you've done so many things you've directed so many things now well like what do you feel like is your your, your craziest you know money maker he's like Fucking being an, a, a zebra in Madagascar, on Madagascar, hundred percent. Because it's it. I mean, I think it that franchise, both of those franchises, probably pay so much, and especially if they sign on for for seven years or seven movies. Seven, yeah, movies. I bet all of the the main cast were like, well, let me get like a little back end or something mm-hmm. like that. I'm Should sure. we? Spend the rest of this episode trying to ideate what our uh, multi-movie animated franchise will be because I would like that for myself. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I absolutely. Think that sounds. But you nice. have to also cross over into to uh, kids' movie. It has to be a family yeah, movie. Absolutely. Yeah, all of the family movies do incredibly well, um, and and probably are the most lucrative of. Yeah, of, their, of course. Like if you ever have like career. a a family movie coming out against a Leonardo DiCaprio movie nowadays, yeah. it's always going to win. Yeah. They're so, always going to be number one. Yeah. So going back to to the animation here, and, and, mm-hmm. and Poe is a character, I mean, he is Jack Black, but yeah. he mm-hmm. is so unbelievably lovable yeah. because he's a doofus with a dream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. as simple as that. Yeah. He's, he's so relatable because he's, he's out of shape, yeah. he's constantly out of breath, he wants to eat, Oh my but God. he Stairs dreams are and, his enemy. Yeah. And he doesn't give up. Yeah. He has He's a really a sweet line character. about how like everyone beats down on him anyway, emotionally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So getting beat up and physically like isn't yeah. so bad. There, and I was like, fuck, I mm-hmm. love you. Yeah. I yeah. was watching it with Hector and we were I was trying to let him watch it as I was like, you know, holding back. But you're right. There was that part. And then I think even the Furious Five were like making fun of him, upset at him, and he still didn't want to quit, even when he made it into, like, the popular crew, right? Mm -hmm. And he says, like, I don't want to go back to being me. You're supposed to show me what I'm supposed to be, right? Like, you're supposed to show me, like, the best self of me. And they were like, "Uh, oh, yeah, we are. You know, we're not supposed to be beating you down. We're supposed to be beating you up. up. Writing 101, we don't love characters for succeeding. We love them for trying. For trying. And this motherfucker tries. tries. It's... It's fucking, it's anime, dog. It's like that's, so it, it's so anime. Where it, if you look at like Naruto, yeah. his whole thing oh is gosh, like, yes. I am bad at everything. I suck at everything. Mm-hmm. And then the very, 
the very thing that he couldn't do in the pilot is what his strength is throughout mm-hmm. the rest of, which is create shadow clones through, throughout the yeah. rest of the series. And then the same thing with Poe, like his his thing that he thought was his setback, which was his puffy nature. Big yeah. roly-poly belly. Big Curvy roly-poly nuts, be- yeah. belly was his superpower because um, Tai Lung couldn't do any of his mm-hmm. freezing techniques on him. Or yeah. like he couldn't. It's he could, so funny. Yeah. Tai Lung has this like move and he's like, twing, yeah. twing, yeah. trying to hit Poe, and Poe is like giggling. Yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. Stop. <laughs> it's so funny. And then I, it's just something I need to say is the sound effect yes. that they so choose good. for his belly it's, and for his butt. Yeah, yes. Whenever he gets it's hit so good. Yes. or he hits you, yeah. it goes, dun, yeah. yeah. And it fucking, oh, like I feel it like down my spine. It's so yeah. good. Yeah, oh my God. I think what was dun, so interesting dun. about those sounds and also just the movie in general is coming from an Asian background it, and that type of POV is just taking someone so relatable. Yeah. Instead of hyping him up, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And like yeah. making it just normalizing a, a normal person. And that's a lot of Asian culture. It's mm-hmm. like, let's celebrate the everyday man. Let's not try to look up to, we have heroes and things like that, but we also want to celebrate you, mom. We also mm-hmm. want to celebrate you, dad. Mm-hmm. That's why like Poe was such an amazing character. And also like Ugwe, like the turtle. Like, I, I, I love I fucking that talk turtle. About that goddamn turtle that all day. <laughs> fucking Jesus turtle. Christ, where where he's like where um <clears throat> I forget the master's name. Jesus, uh, I have uh, the name. I Shifu, have the, Shifu. Shifu. Um, which by the way, I have to correct because I was seeing things online. It's not a fox. It's a panda. Thank you. Can you just blow your mind a little bit more? He a red, he's a red. He's panda. a red panda. Yeah, okay. Oh wow. Okay. They yeah. did a red panda because they wanted the storyline in the beginning to be that was his adoptive father, oh, Poe's adoptive father, uh, from a yeah, panda sure. to okay. a red panda. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, kind of yeah. cool, right? Yeah. Anyways, yeah. you were saying. Yeah. Um, Ugwe, when he's talking, when Shifu is talking to Ugwe, and he's like, "You got it. I don't. How do I train him? Yeah. How do I uh, blah 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 him and uh, all that stuff?" And then Ugwe, this this great tortoise that has so much wisdom, just looks at him. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> and that I shit, just don't know. That shit fucking kills me every time. Every, every time I watch time. it, I'm I'm dying laughing. And well, and there's all this like he says like there is no bad news. There is no good news. There's just news. Just like, news. Well, Tai Lung just got out and he's about mm. to come here to destroy us. That is bad <laughs> yeah, news. <laughs> that is bad news. <laughs> there Vicky's, are no accidents. Yeah, there right. are it's, no yeah. accidents. It's great to see a, a children's movie also like with stoicism and yeah. this idea of like yeah. just be one with but, the world yeah. don't let yeah. things bother you uh, it it really it, is it's yeah. powerful shit and it also like this when is the movie called 2008 you yeah, said 2008. 2008 it like this was the first kids movie that i saw or this was the first family movie that i saw that had a complex villain where with yeah. tai lung yeah, it's it's understandable why he would be upset with Shifu, where he's so just like you. You anger. filled my, you filled my head with dreams, and mm-hmm. then you crushed them in front of me. Mm-hmm. You, he's he wasn't upset um, that he wasn't the Dragon Warrior. He was upset that he that Master Shifu didn't do anything mm-hmm. to argue his case at all. Like you didn't protect me. You didn't you protect protected me. me up until the point where your yeah. intention was. We're gonna make you the yeah. dragon warrior, and right. then you didn't make it. Oh, oops. Yeah, yeah. He's like, like, uh, and then he's like, and he, I watch you turn your back on me, yeah. and like that's understandable why somebody would cross over to the quote unquote dark side after having that, um, you know, Complex that character. dream just kind of taken away. Character building, yeah, for sure. No, like it's really. so great. That's why I said Marvel Cinematic Universe, <laughs> right? Yeah. Because I mean, you are convincing me that this franchise is better than the entire MCU. <laughs> I, I mean, the I'm, MCU should I'm learn. Yeah. I think they should learn yeah. right now because this is like where it's at. Because there's so many animals. So Everyone's many. a master. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember the third one where it's like Master Chicken and yeah. Master what? Uh, yeah. Alligator. You're like, what? Yeah. Like, that's right. There are so many animals right. they can bring in. So it will never end. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. feel this franchise will never and it'll, end. It'll all, they're, they're all based off of different um kung fu yeah techniques. and kung fu so, styles kung did fu you know styles? that i didn't know that yeah, yeah. so the bear hit um uh pose style which is why it looks so real is based on bear kung fu 
Stop it. No, yeah. no joke. What is bear kung fu? It's like the moves of a bear and like to protect yourself. Same thing with like Lucy Liu when she was a snake. It's like some of her fighting skills are like snake like um, kung fu. Yeah. And is I, that I, not, just, like I only know about the, I, like, <laughs> I, 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 this is all like based off of like the crane. Like I know that the yes. crane, like that's oh, a style sure. and the mantis is a like, style. You know, you just a tiger is a style. Oh, that that's stuff. fucking yeah. cute. And so it's could, adorable. And it's, it's fucking so adorable. I mean, if you have. Oh my God. I, are you kidding me? I just love this movie so much yeah, more. Yeah, you it's great. Not one done, second. It's I, my heart just grew 10 sizes. Yeah. The Universal Studios experience, like they have a Kung Fu Panda like <laughs> a- activation or experience. You should go. It's so good. Tell me about it. Like sell it. I'm selling it right now. Universal. What, back what is it? It's just good. I can't tell you anymore. It's just what good. Do you mean? No, you just have to go. It's just so good. Just like the movie, you can't expect it. And you go there, you're like, wow. It's a pleasant it's so surprise. Good. Yeah. I haven't been on the ride, but it is a, pre- the movie is a pleasant surprise. Yeah, it is. And I think like every turn, every, I think I got so emotional because, and everyone can relate when you have someone who's a little bit more mature, like your grandpa, your dad, whatnot. But Ugwe was just a hit. I really want like Ugwe on me. Yeah, like yeah, as yeah. like my tattoo if I yeah. ever got one. Watching, oh watching my God, oh, David, I, if you want an Ugwe tattoo, I'd pay for it. Wait, yeah. hold on. I brought receipts, you guys. You're going to die. What Look did you how bring? old this iPad is. That's a, this is, is that a, what you have so wait, hold on. on? No, I wish it, oh. if it could hold what up. What year is this iPad? I, I don't, don't know. know. This is a, I got it for free. I know that because I won something. But they said- This is just for people who can't see it. This is yes. iPad with the thick white border. Look at it's that. It's got the touch button. It's yeah. old school. It still works. It's thicker. And this is when I thought I couldn't afford. I was a young stylist. Couldn't afford nothing. I remember I won this at a salon because I sold shampoo. I forgot. Like the most shampoo for the month must or have been a lit day but they said Fuck oh yeah. you can get it engraved oh what do you want it to say stop it okay i'm gonna read it to you it says there is no charge for awesomeness or attractiveness which is that, one of the opening that lines. that is of the movie. one of the wow. earliest lines of the movie wow. when nice. poe is having a dream yeah yeah david you are adorable <laughs> yeah i love it i love it <laughs> i brought it because i was like i have to show the receipts yeah. like this is how obsessed I was with the movie. Yeah. Like, I it, did that. It, it, speaking about the op- opening lines, <laughs> him, him, I think that is a really cool way to introduce a character where he, yes. and he is dreaming about what his life would be like if he was a kung fu master. And and it, I think this is when I when I was in the theater and I was like, oh, this is going to be a good movie. Yeah. Um, when the Ox people were in... And he he was like eating something, and he was like, "Oh, you think you should chew? You think you can chew? How about you chew on my fist?" Yeah, <laughs> that's like, so good. And, and it was just so funny. Elements, elements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I love it's, it. it's it's so silly, and like that type of timing always gets me. Regardless, it has like a little bit. Do you agree? I mean, maybe not, but do you agree? It has a little bit of like Scott Pilgrim versus the World, like humor. At the, yeah, at the beginning. Yeah, yeah at the beginning. Sure. I, I was like, gonna bring up that movie for a different reason because I, I realize a trope. That I will love every single time, ten times out of ten, is watching the dope who can't fight fight learn how to fight. Learn how to fight. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and that is Scott Pilgrim. But Kung so Fu good. Panda. There's something about watching this inept, yeah. l- lazy, out of shape. Yeah. Uh, uh, th- this yeah. dude who's a doofus. Like he's tripping and, over his own feet in the beginning, and yeah. then he becomes. A kung fu master. Yeah. And when I tell you that the finale of this movie is watching him put the pieces together is so top tier. Good. It's transcendent. It's so good. And it, it is like, truly, I was gasping. Yeah. I was smiling. The 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 overall dovetail of him at the beginning being mm. like, Oh, are you gonna teach me the wuxi finger hold? Yes. And then at the Bitch. fucking end, <laughs> doing the wuxi finger hold, the whole movie is about having something be inside you the yes. entire time. And then his explanation after having Tai Lung in the wuxi finger hold, yes. and then him being like, Did he teach you that hold? And he's like, Nah, I figured it out myself. Skadoosh. Boom. Oh, fuck, oh, man. I, I have chills right now. So good. <laughs> if I can. Yeah. I, I'm going to go on a little bit of a story that we maybe don't need the whole story. Okay. But uh, Kung Fu Panda... <laughs> Kung Fu Panda is responsible for three of my favorite high memories of all time. Great. Hello. Love it. I, I, you know, this was, this was one of my get stoned, go to the movie theater. And there's this moment where when you're stoned yep. and you see someone else and they're stoned and you're both somewhere you're not supposed to be stoned, uh-huh. there oh is this God. unspoken spidey sense, yeah. telekinesis. And for me, it 
for this case, it was me and the man making me chicken fingers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Before Kung Fu Panda. Yes. And he was getting berated by by his superior, and he wasn't hearing it at all. Yeah. I remember, I remember them saying a, a quote that me, my friends and I say to this day, which was, the chicken fingers are going to burn. He looks at us and goes, let them burn. <laughs> oh, was, this is how. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're just like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, this guy yeah. fucking. And gets oh it. Oh my God. This guy it. gets it. So we're we're in the theater, and I, I've made this mistake far too many times. Where you get high for a children's movie, and then yeah. you get inside and realize it's you it's, and it's children. children yeah. uh, One uh, too many times. I, yeah. it, it always surprises me. But it was like a let's say a three o'clock showing, right? Mm. So the theater is empty except for me, my two friends. Mom behind me and kids rose in front of me. Oh my God. And throughout the movie, this kid keeps yelling back to ask questions to his mom. And it didn't bother me. It delighted me. Yeah. So the lights go out for the theater and the kid goes, Mom, is it nighttime outside? <laughs> <laughs> just because of the lights going yeah. off? Oh, I love what? it. I love and I'm it. like, this is going to be a party. I love it. But we fast forward. We get to the, the whooshy finger hold. Mm-hmm. And the way that the movie goes is, is okay, Garrick described it perfectly. He has him the whooshy yeah. finger hold. Ian McShane goes, no, no, there's no way. And he yeah. goes, I figured it out. Skadoosh. Yeah. And there is a moment of silence. And I hear... Mom is at nighttime outside, kid, and my friend Jason, both from separate corners of the theater, amongst the silence, simultaneously go, (gasps) (laughs) 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 And then there is this blast of gold powder that explodes through the valley. Yeah. And it is like, I will, when I tell you. Also, great sound effects of that. It's like a (laughs) ring. And, and it has like, like a little yeah, ring yeah, yeah. in it. it I'll good. never yeah. forget how I felt in that moment. Yeah. Actually, I the saw... The finger hold changed my life. Reviewing yeah, it brought me back. Fantastic. Totally. Fantastic. Totally. Can we talk about one of the goaded sequences in all of animation? The dumpling training montage. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. uh, uh, Poe, they, they discover, you know, he's not taken well to training. And so Dustin Hoffman's character, he realizes, I need to train him. I need to meet him on mm. his level. And so he realizes that Poe is driven by food, by stress yeah. eating. So yeah. funny. He tells yeah. him there's a cookie on the top shelf and he, quick, 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 you know, yeah. like gets up and, and does a perfect split. Yeah. yeah. So like, how funny. did you do that? It's like, I don't know. It's just an accident tying it all back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, it, was it was already in you. Always, there's already no in, you. in you the whole time. But watching them, uh, uh, Dustin Hoffman's like, you want the dumpling? Come get it. Yeah. And they start fighting over the dumpling. Yes. And yeah. then they have a chopstick battle. Yeah. Where they iconic, are, yeah, it's so sick. iconic, it's so good. iconic. Go no, but it's iconic because it's like cho- like chopsticks. It's just a chopstick it's chopsticks. scene, and it's it's but it's, it's like fighting against each other with hands. Yeah, you know? yeah, and it, it it always goes back to uh, um, the Karate Kid, where like he's trying yes. to teach him how to use chopsticks and fight with chops, or like they're yes. doing like little things with it with them. Um, I think, um, but. Yeah, it just goes back to I that. And that, that was during a training montage. I think but you've hit it. Like, it's like so emotional in the sense that he's using something. In, each of us have different things that we're strong at or like we don't know that we're strong at, which is in this case eating because yeah. he loves to eat. Yeah. But that eating has helped him become like yeah. a, a master. And yeah. they have, so they have the two chopsticks in the bowl and their fingers are like, yeah. like yeah, kicking so each good. other. And, and he pun- uses it later, remember? Uh-huh. On the stilts? Yeah, And he's like exactly. doing the stilts moves? Yeah. Oh my God, it's so good. I just love it, but I also love how, I, I love the relationship between the Furious Five and Poe. Yeah. I think it just changes so well. Yeah. It's so organic. They don't like him because they've been training since they were kids, yeah. essentially, each of these animals. I think they're justified to be pissed off. Yeah. I think they are. I think they are in the same way that but, Tai Long is. Yeah, but they all learn in the end, like their place is where they exactly are. Mm. Like, and then they cheer each other on. Yeah. Because then at the, at the, what is it? At the end, remember when they're talking? Oh, maybe it's not another movie. In the, the <laughs> beginning of the second one is when they're cheering on it. Sounds like fighting scenes, mm-hmm. and it's them cheering on him eating. Yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And they all love it. It's like, pretty tigress, right? Yeah, it's so good. I know we're talking about this theme a lot, so I just want to tie it back to the dad because there's something about the dad duck that I just 
remember him as one of the true great fathers yeah. in mm-hmm. cinema, even though he is trying to push an identity on his son for the whole more than be- you know getting of the movie right he's like i want you to be a noodle a noodle man mm-hmm. like me uh but he has this sweet line where he's finally ready to tell poe the secret ingredient of his noodles and tying into your message yeah he says there is no secret ingredient there isn't yeah. it's yeah. you it's you the entire Nothing. time the it's, scroll it's uh, the scroll being this? a mirror yeah and they all have been tricked. Like, even Shifu, remember yeah. when he finally gets it? Do you want to see it? No, I can't. I'm forbidden to see it. Yeah. But wait, what the hell? You know? Yeah. It's so good. But the POV of the dad and also Poe, I I can definitely relate to that. My, mo- my mom was an accountant. My dad was a doctor of acupuncture, acupressure. And I felt the pressure of being yeah. one of those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so did Poe. Did you like, have the acupressure dream? <laughs> uh, I did it because I became a, hair, became a hairstylist and I give good head in the shampoo bowl. Yeah, all right. You know, right. I know yeah. how to do it. I do pressure points on the head because my dad taught me that. But there anyways, but Poe, yeah. But then he was, remember, he he cooks for them. Yeah. Because his love language is food. So yeah, he exactly. cooks for them. And they're, and they're like, this like, is the best. The best soup the I've, best ever soup I've ever had. You're kidding. No, it's yeah. not. Yeah. It is so good. But you I should try it. my dad's secret ingredient soup. It actually has a secret ingredient in it. Yeah. Oh. I fucking love it. And I think if you if you look back, this was starting like a pivotal turn and taking it off the movie for a second, but like it was a pivotal turn where movies started to relate to adults. Mm. Do you, I, I, th- right? I, I, well, think this is, this so, is well say, into the Pixar era, so I'm yeah. not giving Kung Fu Panda credit. Yeah. No, <laughs> I was gonna say, like, it Toy started Story. to like move yeah, a yeah. little bit more See, in the message. This came out the same year as Wally, which is okay, what yeah, beat it. Wally, uh, Wally, Wally, and I truly believe is oh. like one of the greatest um, animation movies of, of, of all course. time. Like you. The, tough the to go up they, against that. Yeah, it is tough to it go up is. against that. It is like, did it win the Oscar or no? C- Wally did. Wally yeah, did. Wally right, did. Right, that's what I thought. And like for you to tell an entire love story, um, a deep love story with no talking at all. That's with beeps tough. and boops. Yes. For the first beeps 40 minutes of boops. the movie, I was like, oh, beeps shit. Beeps and boops. Um, I was like so impressed by that. But yeah, back to the, the Kung Fu Panda side of things. Um. I guess like my connection with the movie, I love watching Kung Fu movies um, with my dad. And so mm. like like growing up, I always loved them. That's why I like That's anime so cool. as well, um, because it like transferred Kung Fu, like just transferred over into the animation space. And I was just like, yeah. oh, yeah, this is the same thing. It's just um, yeah. colorf- colorful or more colorful. Going back to my MCU theory, which is like they need to spin off some of these characters. Yeah. And they and, have like in Netflix shows because they've done like the Kung Fu Panda Netflix stuff, mm-hmm. but they need have to you like watched it. No way. I've watched some of them, and yeah, they're like cool. they're not as bad. But like I I reserve all my energy for the core four, what the four that's going to come out. Right? Will you but, be there opening night? Of course, you guys. Yes. Yeah. Like I'll. Di- I are you're bu- making me want to watch two and three. I, you gotta I, watch two and three. I, you I, haven't bu- seen them. You gotta see. see no, you gotta thank watch you, Rainy. That's the exact I, same I, expression. Yeah, I feel like. People just kind of wrote them off as just like a, a cash grab, but they are solid. You, movies. you will, and then you will understand why my reference to MCU is working because they literally take the first, and they are picking parts of the first to create the second and third, and it is literally going in full circle. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, they have end credit scenes that you're like that lead to the next movie that you're like, hold up, it's a good what? Movie. They're, yeah. they're good movies. They're good movies. It is too much. It's almost yeah. too much. This is why, like, we can't just talk about one. We have to talk about two and three. <laughs> like, because Michelle Yeoh, I'm going to let you know, because I'm going to spoil that for you. She opens the second one up, and you hear her voice, and chills just run down, because she talks about the creation of fireworks. And you're like, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah. You're like, and it's her. What is three? <laughs> uh... Tim tell? like do we tell raised, you? Oh, oh, is that oh, the one with it? Because I saw I've seen trailers. There's one where they it's, find all the pandas, yeah. and that's three. That's so, three. Yeah. But and are they Kate all... Hudson's in it, and you're like, who? Yeah, yeah <laughs> of course. But it's just like, but to to what we talked about just a few minutes ago, which is like every known actor wants to be in these movies because they're so I, I good. Think, I think they just know it's a it's a oh, global. It's, it's dis- so good. Like. It destroys. Yeah. Global. And there's so many means in like the um the proverbs that come out in each of these like movies. You're like, it can't get better than, you know, t- it, what is it? Um, the past is history, tomorrow's a mystery, today is, you know, a gift. Oh, I wrote it down because pre- I loved it so yeah, much. That's why they it call was, it a um, present, right? Today, today is a gift. That's yeah. why it's called the present. present. Yes. Are you kidding me? 
Yeah. You know, and then and you wise ass turtle. Well, yeah. and remember yeah. when Shifu goes, "Oh, how interesting!" When um, uh, Ugwe tells uh, Shifu, "How interesting!" When one avoids the path, uh, when one's avoids a path, he creates his destiny, and that was the feather that flew uh-huh. down and then got Tai Lung out. Yeah, yeah. So he's like. And that's how the journey of the Shifu too it also is so starts. It's so smart yeah. because you just get to take Chinese proverbs yeah. oh, and, and, and make them a, like a whole story. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Remember the third when um, Ugwe is there? I mm. want Ugwe. But when he comes back and it's his. It's the, like ghosts. The, the opening yeah. sequence. It's like, is that's, oh, what I, that's what I needed. You I know, Rainy, what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I needed my boy back. You haven't seen fighting until you see Ugwe fight. Stop. Yes, yeah. and Ugwe comes out strong. Does he do that like, thing? Okay, Ugwe does it uh, for like one second in this movie where he... Oh, he does better than that. Like a little chime. He uses yeah. his staff. Yeah. And oh, it's like, fuck me it's up. It's like Wonder yeah. Woman where she's like, oh, you're using the... The rope now or the lasso? Yeah, you're like, oh, the lasso's working. Yeah, he's yeah. like, it's, it's, yeah. Almost, it's almost like you, like it's the thing that you see the person with all the time. And you're like, but you're yeah, like, but you're not gonna that? use that. Yeah, like, you're gonna use that? your fist, right? Of course, yeah. you're gonna put the staff away, and you're gonna like do. No, he keeps. No, the staff he the like, it's, it's above cool. and beyond. You have to. We okay. have to come back and, and tell talk me about more that. about the lore. What's going on in the kung fu in the panda verse? In which one? The second or third? <laughs> Well, you just, I mean, I guess there's in the second so one, you just find out that, like, the pandas, there's a reason why he was the, the only dragon. panda or okay. the dragon warrior in the but first place and why he was good. So, like, it was, a, yeah, it was, there's a connection to his birth. Uh huh. And the third is he's acting on that connection. He's like, yeah. it's and like. And then they find the panda. Are they all little kung fu pandas? So, the second is like. In the <laughs> third. So cute. Are they all little kung fu pandas? Is the third? Do they all do kung fu? No, it's remember. like the second. No, they're not. Because no, the second were. one has like an end credit scene that shows, oh my God, there are more pandas. And mm-hmm. you're like, what the F? You know, and you're like, what the fuck? There's more pandas. And then the third comes out and it's all the pandas, but they're hiding. So he like finds these pandas. And then there's a reason why there's a specific um, person or animal that's coming after the pandas because it's all connected. They're like literally all connected to each other. And then that is going, going to connect you to the fourth. And what's going on in four? I don't know. I mean, uh, like, yeah, I don't the know. chameleon is out of nowhere. Yeah, That's why I'm yeah. like, who could the chameleon be? But I think it's going to be like something with Tai Lung and like, obviously, yeah. but like there, she was, and you know what it's going to be? She's been there the entire time and we don't even know it. Probably, you it's, know it's what gonna I'm be one I'm of like, those. It's gonna be like, oh, we've been, I've been sending these people to come yeah, and get you the like whole that. time. Something weird, yeah. Or she just like was like the, one of the, the furious five. Of it all, one of the furious five. I was there. You just didn't know it was me. Mm. I've been trapping that person the entire time. And you're like, oh no, yeah, I, this is gonna be like a mind fuck. Yeah, chills. Yeah, full body MCU. <laughs> That's why I'm like MCU. Take notes, I'm, Kevin I'm Feige. I, I also I relate on such a deep level because if I had a success anywhere near the level of Kung Fu Panda, I would immediately be like, lore. Lore. I'm putting lore. Put lore. <laughs> I'm putting lore in yeah, this bitch. Yeah, because like even... There's even a way, backstory. There's lore. Because uh, like <laughs> like if we're looking at the uh, Spider-Verse, where you like Spider-Verse yeah, comes out and yeah, it blows yeah. up and, and they're like, okay, well, what's the one thing from the first one that yeah. we could create this whole big right. thing out of? Right. And then they're just like, well, remember how the spider glitched a little bit? What if... It wasn't from his universe. And then they made an entire thing Enti- off of that. What That's if, what remember like, that though. thing we just did to be like a cool, a little, cool animation? little animation? <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's, like, it's plot. Yeah, it's plot. <laughs> Actually, it's plot. <laughs> it's been plot the whole time. We've been thinking about it. That's, it's a, that's been a good there. retcon. It's you know? been there. Yeah. Remember just, when Poe uh, becomes a dragon warrior because he lit fireworks off? Actually, Actually that's the bad guy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and that's yeah. how it's working. I yeah. swear, that's why these movies are going to keep going because they're going to take one thing from the movie before and go like, do you remember that? Yeah. A, qu- a question. Are, do you think that you would ever watch a live action of this? What are you talking no, about? Like I, I'm just asking. What would that yeah, even just no, be? I, I don't know. You're talking I, like John Favreau Jungle Book status, where it's I like live action, do, but they're animals. But that's I, like I, maybe that uh, that pisses me off because you know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, someone's gonna ruin something yeah. somewhere and make it live action, right? Because um, even with like the Lion King stuff, for them to call that live action, I'm like, yeah, but it's it's not. 
it's not. You're doing CGI just on a very incredible level. So it's still incredible. technically animated. So what are we doing here? Mm -hmm. Just leave it, let it be animated. Anyway. Do you know the, what if, when Garrick and I became friends is when we went to see, we, we went to see Uncut Gems together. Oh my God. And I went to the bathroom and I walked in to meet him and I accidentally walked into Lion King and, oh. I, and I saw one second of Beyonce I was just going to say ah. Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. It's like the only time that her voice could make you shudder. Yeah. You know, like, it just way. felt so weird and yeah. wrong. And yeah. It was, it was like, tough. oh, it was, God. It was tough. I no. Was, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Um, <laughs> and then I went back That's and I'm like, Gary, really <laughs> yeah. something terrible has happened. <laughs> yeah. I really do wish they would just um, or make things maybe better animated. If they did live action and they. they completely respected the four movies and just continued mm. the story <laughs> the in fifth, live action. You're saying it's a sequel? The fifth one just it's suddenly gonna like, yeah, is yeah, exactly. We're going to be live action on that, guys. Yeah. I don't know. I think no, about that. I, Those I, are the things I actually think about. <laughs> My Roman Empire. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... I, I, I mean, I know Garrick loves... This is his thing and I'm stealing it, but he just always talks about the disrespect for animation. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm on that train with you. Yeah, like, yeah, it's just it's, like... It's, it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty annoying. You know? We're seeing it play out in real time right now oh, with yeah. Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh, I, and oh I, my God. I <sighs> never watched Avatar. I, I know it's shameful to say that, but I, I've been seeing the side-by-side -side clips and it's... I mean, on the one hand, the Netflix show just looks bad. Yeah, yeah. But then you see it put up one to one. You go, oh, this looks abysmal. Yeah, yeah, you abys had it, you had it all right there. In comparison, you're just like watching it. Yeah. yeah. By, uh, side by side. And you're like, well, you, this is just proof that it doesn't, being in live action doesn't make anything better. It literally does take a downturn. Because even with like fucking Spider-Verse versus any of the Spider-Man, even the MCU Spider-Man, it's just like, that's still a better movie. It doesn't matter how how crazy Tom Holland could do a flip and all that stuff. He's not gonna be able to glitch like yeah, that. You know, he's, he's, you're, you're taking or away the air that long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or saying the air you're that long. You're taking away one of a, a, a language. A, a, there a true there language. is a way that that animation can express visual express visual mm -hmm. language in a way that live action often fails to achieve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. and it it is impressionistic. It it is it pushes more. And it allows you to tap into some deeper truths, some deeper mm -hmm, emotions. Yeah, right. Um, and yes, it is unreal at times. And that's the point. It is mm -hmm. unreal to get to a deeper truth. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's fucking awesome. It's, it's so good. I it's, it's fucking phenomenal. Like, and so like, if I were to see a snow leopard on two legs, I would uh, throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I would literally throw no. up. No. But yeah, what yeah. if we could get Beyonce to voice? Oh, oh well. Tigress. I mean, as long if she as, was Tigress. Yeah, she's Tigress. I, mean, I don't know. Time. Oh, my God. I mean, maybe there's exceptions to be made, but yeah. I just wanted to ask. I thought it was something super important to ask the... The fan yeah. club, the fan club, you <laughs> yeah. know, just making yeah. sure that we put that. Uh, the there. secretary is going to put down in the meeting minutes that yeah. uh, we I, voted no on that resolution. No. Yeah. Uh, the last thing that I'll hit on is uh, we, we mentioned it in brief as Garrick puts on the cowboy hat and this feels right. Yes. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, the last thing I'll mention, we, we hit it in brief, is just how wonderful it is to have the Chinese landscapes, the, the lush mm -hmm. Chinese landscapes, mm -hmm. the, the architecture the John Williams score that is inspired by uh, uh, Chinese symphonies. Uh, it is beautiful to look at, uh, and it is something that we just don't get to see in uh, a major Western animation. At and it's, it makes it really special. Yeah, at yeah. all. And I think hopefully the fourth will be... I don't know, even more stunning. Don't you think because we've come so far from where and we were? Where we have like so much more money to, to and deal so with. so much more technology. Yeah. Like, Yeah, I was watching last night and there were a couple times where I was like, oh, this is an old animation, but it it holds up. Oh, it, yeah. No, it oh, does. Yeah. That entire like CGI range of movie from like 20, I mean, 2008 or like past 2005 mm -hmm. on, those techniques kind of stayed yeah like if you watch the incredibles mm -hmm. it's still still the same type of like animation techniques that they use now it's just like more hair fibers you know like it, yeah. it just that makes sense right there there the was there incredibles was... is going viral for whatever reason right now on, really? on twitter people are like sharing clips of how hard it goes and mm -hmm. i 
like even watching one it, or two one. one. Oh yeah watching yeah. it on mute seeing like how good brad bird's staging and editing yeah. is it, yeah. it really yeah. like, got me yeah, hyped it's fantastic i thought it was um i read something online that the the bridge fight scene where the furious five like, go against tai lung was probably at that time the hardest thing really to create and um, oh shit i forgot the um the coolest the coolest thing that tai lung da did is the first time you hear him speak he like leans on the rope of the of yes. the drawbridge and he's just like where's the dragon warrior i'm not here to fight you guys and, I'm just like, and he's just like suspended over like 300 feet it, it, uh, anyway that's just sick it's uh, so good yeah it's so good i just love ian mcshane so like john wick all the way so i when and i forgot that was him until i heard his voice mm -hmm. and i always try to guess this is just me but i always try to guess the actor whose voice is what yeah. i'm like oh that has to be him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's to, totally Ian McShane. All the way. It's weird to me that I'm, I think that last night may have been the first time I watched it since seeing it in theaters. Mm -hmm. How many moments are just deeply ingrained in my memory? Because yeah. like, you know, whooshy finger hold, I told you mm -hmm. how much that means to me. But it's good douche. But like even uh, uh, Ugwe, uh like dissolving into cherry blossoms and yeah, my, flowing the, into my, the wind. My, my time has come. I like it's a yes. meme. It's a fucking meme. It my really time has is. come, and you're. I, I don't know. I, I I see so many like car uh, Instagram reels or car TikToks of just like people building something under their car. I'm mm -hmm. explaining a meme to you right now. But somebody building something under their car, them hearing the click of a failed car jack, and then it'll jump to. The uh, my time has come because no, the car is it's so full good. On them. It's so funny. That's so good. Yeah. Y'all ready for some fun facts? Please. We love it. All right. So the animators took a kung fu class together for six hours to get an idea for movies action. That's that's good. adorable. Oh, also, like, have you ever watched animators try to? Um, animate a scene it's the yes. way that they'll they'll film themselves they film themselves yes. doing it yes. so cool it's so it like so like you, every animator that you know is a phenomenal actor mm -hmm. you know they're a phenomenal like face actor and all that stuff they and then they be. have to do that and then like edit it themselves mm -hmm. through like just like premiere or something mm -hmm. like that and then put that into animation anyway sorry it's a tough process like it's a, yeah it's a grueling process that's yeah. why i don't know why it's not celebrated as yes much. they are they are the animators are quietly the most i uh, talented people have you seen i mean even claymation like too oh, like Kubo, have you seen kubo and the two strings anybody yeah, out there who has have not you seen, seen the, the, the behind the scenes of, of kubo? kubo do you know by the way that Coraline is getting re-released in theaters i heard is it? Mm -hmm. They're like just doing like a special anniversary re-release, and we need it, to go see that in yeah, 3D yeah, yeah, because yeah. the moment in Coraline where the fucking in 3D velvet tunnel mm -hmm. goes like oh, yeah. do, 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 is like I, trippy. It's, I haven't. Oh in my 3D, god! Did this you was in 3D in oh, I did. It's fucking This was chill. before I was smoking. That's what made me we should do with, that. Is it like high? Yes. Yeah, Garrick, you have no idea, my dude. Oh my god! And just put your voice record on your voice memo <laughs> on, and just like, oh my god, what is it? Tripping out. So according to an interview with James Hong, who plays uh, uh, Daddy Duck, mm -hmm. uh, his father in real life owned a noodle shop. Yeah. And so the producers found out about, you know this? Yeah. He talked about it before. I know. I'm sorry. But it is a good fun fact. <laughs> David's like, yeah, no, I've watched oh, all the yeah, Kung yeah, Fu Panda all cast the, He knows all the fun facts. That's hilarious. Uh, but they uh, incorporated that into the, his character That's after great. finding that out. Oh, so okay. Good. That's great. So good. Love that. Well, David, this is the time where we tell people if it's a pleasure, a guilty pleasure, or just plain guilty. We're, we're going to tell people that this is a straight up pee. Yeah. But I want you to tell people why they should take time out of their day right now to go watch Kung Fu Panda. Where we're at, this is going to make me cry, but like, I think where we're at right now deserves this movie. Like, because it's so many messages. Like, for people, it's so many messages for people around you, but also, like, the world we're currently living in. Yeah. It, Off of a fucking animated movie about fucking fighting guys, pandas. right? I think also, like, if you want to watch these movies, to your point, it's mm -hmm. like the harmonious nature of like learning family watered down mm -hmm. stories, mm -hmm. but also like at the end of it, there's always a good message and all family movies are like this, I guess in America, but in general, this one, because it's rooted in like Chinese culture, like really truly talks about 
the the humbleness, like make sure you're always thanking your elders. It does. It talks about it all the time in the movie. And then also like if you're a new person, like sit quietly and learn. That's why Poe couldn't sit quietly and learn mm-hmm. until they unlocked the success of what he was, which was food, right? If he ate food, he'd be quiet. <laughs> this panda yeah. changed my goddamn life. <laughs> Good. I watched, uh, I did a double feature with this in Killers of the Flower Moon. That was a real mind fuck. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Damn. Intense. David, where can the people find you? They can find me on Instagram, David Dang with three Gs. Like, dang it. But dang. David Dang. Yeah. Dang. Or you can just find me popping around and doing hair. Hell like, yeah. everywhere. I love it. By the way, I'm you need a haircut. I was, oh, my I'm God. I'm <laughs> Well, by the way, you did a haircut. Right, That's so on air. Normally, David, David <laughs> when he sees me, he comes and looks. He looks up and goes, mm, I do to- not. No, do kidding. not. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Do not. I see the work and it's good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, David, thank you so much for joining. I guess we got to do the thank whole you. franchise. Yeah. We kind of do. Please. Please. I feel like we have to revisit after the fourth comes out. Yeah. Because then we're going to be like, oh, my God. We're yeah, here are all the things. We're yeah. blown. You guys, what are yeah. we going to do? Yeah. Bam. I almost forgot. What did you almost forget? Hold on. I have to bust it out. <laughs> you have more in your bag? Yes. Yeah, so this was David Dang in 2008. David just picked up a cryptic box. What is... And this is David Dang. <laughs> no, you do not. From McDon- I think this is McDonald's. <laughs> oh David, no, you do not. Yes, yes, you guys. Oh, my God. I have these toys. You Pristine. Does he kick? He does a lot of stuff. Look at <laughs> yeah. this you is guys. A, you, do you have the entire Kung Fu Panda Furious yes, Five? And I and do. Sh- what is this it's guy? A, Ty, Ty, Ty Ty and all. This is the. This is what exactly what Poe had. Oh, um, this to you too. There you go. This is what po, this is like Poe's little figures that he had on his um, in his bedroom. Yes, and that's why I am ups- I was obsessed, it, it, yeah. and I still am. By the way, though, if I got the Look one it. of the Lucy Lou Snake, I'd be pissed. And the, it sounds like ma- Mantis. The Mantis. <laughs> All of them have no. buttons on the back where you can like karate chop or kick, and then the snake is just a snake. Yeah. Oh my yeah, yeah. god! Wait, hold on. Tigress There's more. Is also just a tigress. Here's our Jackie Chan <gasps> monkey. Yeah. And these were, all, I think, they were all from McDonald's. And then our star player. Yeah. Oh. You guys, of course, I had to. It still works. <laughs> No. <laughs> Can I tell you? Wait, wow, this is yeah. Lit. This you guys, 2008. 2008. This was a while back, so it's still it's still working. Yeah, the only the only one I can't find was uh, Shifu. So oh. I was almost gonna go on eBay like years ago and find it because it was like my it. complete collection. I dude, this is so fucking cute that you have this. I uh, you need to put these like on display in your home. Oh, they were for a long time until <laughs> I got a partner and had to take them down. I was like, well, you didn't know about this, so if Hector. It's like, just uh, one of those things where you're, you're like, like, but I mean, like, you, I'm sure you, Hector would allow you with this, but is that yeah. really one of the like I want to get boned, guys? So like, yeah. I don't know if he's <laughs> yeah, like, I don't right. really want Poe to look at us while we're doing it. <laughs> You know, it's still so cool. Oh my god, here you go. Um, I uh, I had uh, Burger King toys from Lord of the Rings, yeah, for the longest time, and it was this one in the center, the one ring, uh, it was like the eye of Sauron, um, uh, and then you would clip in the different toys, and then yeah. they could stand on a base, and you would turn the eye of Sauron like click, 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 and it would activate them as they went on. And Aragon would Frodo would say his line, and Aragorn would say his line, and all those. and uh, I, I found them in a box and I was like, holy shit, this is this so is cool. This is so cool. And then I looked them up on eBay and saw, I'm like, okay, I could get them again for like $2 if I really want them. No. So I was, <laughs> I was no, going to donate the them and let someone no. who like really wants, yeah. like cares to find it. Yeah. I So um, when I'm remodeling my home. So I'm like looking forward to putting these up. Yeah. Like, I just don't know where. What were if, you going to say? If you're talking about uh, money and collectibles uh, and Lord of the Rings, um, so uh, Lord of the Rings, or not Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord of the Rings did a um, a collab with okay. uh, Magic the Gathering. No. And they put out the one ring, and it was one card. Oh, my no. God. It was one you card. you have it? No, oh no. Are like, you kidding me? He'd be on a, I, on a retired yeah, on a yeah. Just say. It, it was one card. Somebody pulled it, recorded it, cried. Of course, it I sold would for break four down. million dollars. I would break down. Yeah, I honestly would break down. Yeah, it was. In, it, it's fucking insane. That's sick. Yeah, that is amazing. Yeah. I cannot yeah. believe you have those. Yeah, I, I love that you have. Them. I, I love that you have them the so much. Inscription. This, like, that was like my life for so long. You guys, that's like what drove me. Like. Kung Fu Panda did a lot for me during that's, 2008. That's beautiful. Okay, now show everyone the lower back tattoo. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, that's for next episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at Corn Diddy on all the things. I'm at Garrick Bernard on all the things. Boy, what do you think? Boy, what's your Instagram, man? Yeah, Till next time, skadoosh. <laughs> skadoosh.